Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. It is good to be back. Um, it's been a couple of days. That's no worries. Uh, we're going to bring you a lot more content. I've been super busy. Uh, we're going to bring you uh, Jason Maloney uh, versus uh, Zell Sanchez, which is a really interesting fight that I want to get into. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Uh, showing you how to uh, make money consistently betting on the sport of boxing, show you how to bring down the house. Um, there's always a bull market somewhere. We're going to show that to you. Um, we don't gamble, but if you do, uh, again, we're going to show you how to consistently make money in the sport of boxing. Uh, we use DraftKings like their odds. I think it's user friendly, like the interface, uh, but I don't gamble. If you do, I recommend DraftKings. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Jason Maloney is a household name. We all know who Jason Maloney is. 26-2, and 19 knockouts. He's been stopped one time. That's not the end of the world. It was by Inouye back in the bubble, the top-ranked bubble in – uh, 2020, um, and he's won five fights since. Most recently, he got a, a narrow decision over Vincent Estrelabio. That was uh, back in May on the undercard of – was that the main event? Perhaps it was. The rest, uh, Yeah, I think that was the main event. All right, no worries. Um Straight up and down fighter. Good fundamentally sound fighter. He's fighting Sal Sanchez. We're going to get into Sanchez in just a minute. But let's start with Maloney. Like I said, good straight up and down fighter. Fundamentally sound. Likes to come forward. He's heavy off the front foot. He's a come forward fighter. Quick, sneaky jab. He's got a sneaky, quick jab. Like I really like – what I like about him is, is, is his jab and how he uses to set up the right hand. It, it's sneaky quick, right? He measures distances. He uses distances really well. Good body, good body puncher, good work on the inside. He got a nice little uppercut on the inside. He can work on the inside. He closes the gap. He controls distance as well. He's got good ring general. So he's got in general, he's got a pretty good boxing IQ. He's an excellent finisher. I don't think we're gonna see that, but we could if if he needs to. Good lateral movement. You know, he's a high guard guy, elbows in tight. He keeps his jab snapping. Like he's textbook. He's a pretty textbook guy. Or a come forward fighter, right? He he does a lot of things textbook. There's just nothing really special about him. There's not special power. His power is probably you know one to ten. It's probably five, five and a half. He's not super athletic, although he's not you know flat footed and slow. He's not hyper athletic. He's not gonna have you know super reflexes. He's not super long. There's not anything next level about him. But his fundamentals and his technique is good enough to get him here. It hasn't been good enough against the very best in the sport. And the same with his brother, but it, it, he's a good fighter. He's not going to be outclassed by anyone, even with, you know, well, in a way he was outclassed. But anything short of that, he's going to be competitive. He's going to be in the fight. He's a good boxer. You know, he's a B-plus fighter. He, he loses to all the A fighters and beats everyone else. The question is, is Sal Sanchez an A fighter? And I like him. He's short, stocky, pit bull. Come forward, typical Mexican style. He's also sneaky fast. Like a lot of times you think these guys are going to be slow and plotting. He's not. So this is going to be a fun fight. He's good at cutting off the ring. He, he, there's a little brichelt to him where he can cut off the ring, make you fight his fight. He's got good timing specifically with the right hand. He gets his right hand in, in between your punches really well. He said he's got quicker hands than you might expect. He's got a really good chin. It's just he's got no head movement. And I would say Maloney, James Maloney is a is an accurate puncher, specifically with his power shots. And I think he's gonna land it well. You know, he doesn't have great one hitter quitter power, but he's not feather fisted either, right? Like he's got decent pop and he's gonna swell up his face. And the question becomes, does he finish the fight late with a stoppage? due to the swelling, because I, I don't think he's going to knock him out, right? I think Sal Sanchez has a really good chin. 
he's gonna like I don't think he's gonna ice him, put him out. So the stoppage would have to come, and you know he's Mexican, he's tough as hell. The corner's not gonna stop, and he's not gonna quit. So the stoppage would have to come from Swell. Uh, a culmination of shots that breaks him down, and you know breaks his face. He's got no head movement. He's gonna be sitting there eating shots. I like Sal Sanchez. I, I wanted I wanted to lean towards an upset in this fight. I just don't see enough from him. I, I think Maloney's fundamentally sound. I think he's a technician in there, a come forward technician. Like if you were whoever taught him how to fight, taught him really well. He's just not next level, right? Like he's limited. He's limited by his own self limitations, right? There's nothing next level hyper hyper athletic about him, which means he can do very well. He just can't beat in a way. That's what all of that means. Sanchez is kind of sloppy. So, like, there's no way he's going to win rounds. I don't think he can stop Maloney. I don't think he's good enough. Although, that there's his bet. His bet is to get on the inside, punish him to the body, and catch him with something big. Like I said, he's got good speed. He's got good timing. He can do it. I just – and I wanted to kind of pick the upset here because I, I want you guys to know I think Saul Sanchez is a good fighter. I just can't see that happening. There's not a lot of props or anything on, on this bet, which I'm going to pull up in just a second. I'm going to show you how to make money on this. But I really can't see Sanchez winning the fight. I really can't see it. So if we want to make money on this, let's pull up the Giraffe Kings. Maloney is minus 425. It's down a little bit. I saw it minus 450 earlier, so it's getting a little better. I'm going to do a one-and-a-half times bet because after watching the tape on Sanchez, He's just not going to win, right? He's too flawed defensively. He's too flat-footed. He, and I like what some of the stuff he does offensively, but Maloney is a master of controlling distances. He's got decent enough power where he can – Sanchez just can't walk in the front door and take a shot. So that's not going to happen either. So one and a half times bet, uh, minus 425 is going to make us 85-29. That's 85-29. Not making a killing on this, although it's not bad. There's no other props on this. There's no – uh, money. I was there's just a money line, there's no uh rounds or over under or anything like that. So, the only thing that we can do with DraftKings is take Jason Maloney. Jason Maloney again, a one and a half times bet in this case is 150. That will make us 85.29. So, on a $150 bet, we are making $85.29. Take the money, move on to the next. Not making a kill on this fight, but it's decent. You know, those are the odds I kind of expected. Not too many people know Sal Sanchez, there's not a ton of tape on him. I don't expect people to bet him the only reason why you bet him is if you think Maloney sucks and Maloney certainly does not suck so let me know what you guys think leave your thoughts comments below but that's all the action we can have on this one is Maloney on the money line minus 425 page your 180 uh, page your 85 dollars not terrible on a one one and a half times bet it's not terrible take the money move on to the next keep those profits keep it rolling 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 follow me all forms of social media the boxing, uh, a three D boxing, three D boxing blog, the boxing book comes at you for every major fight, showing you how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. It is January fourth, twenty twenty four. From Tex, also subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button.